The play Emily of Emerald Hill uses history, or rather the personal history experienced by the main character and by the author of the work, as an instrument of nostalgia. This may not be the intended effect, as it is some members of the audience or readers of the play who feel the effect. The effect may be strong for some of them and more pronounced in some ways than how it is felt by the character herself. Of course, nostalgia is felt by Emily herself, but not exactly in parallel ways with how it is felt by the audience. This sense of nostalgia might give the work a special significance to people of an older generation. We'll encounter this phenomenon again in Gopo Singh's If We Dream Too Long. Another way of looking at nostalgia in Khan's play is to compare it with irony in Ko's The Coffin Is Too Big For The Hole. One thinks here of uh, Linda Hutchins' observation that the postmodern has little to do with nostalgia and much to do with irony. As I observed in the last video on Kuo's play, irony is subtle but strongly felt in Coffin, especially to the reader or spectator who is aware of the relevant context of his play. As noted in an earlier video on Khan, her desire to control the staging of a play, as contrasted to the virtually hands-off approach of Kuo, makes Emily less postmodern at least in this respect, when compared to Coffin. Nostalgia, which is conjured by Korn's more concrete approach to history, admirable as it is, can be contrasted to Quo's more abstract, bare-bones approach. And in effect, it is another factor that makes Korn's play less clearly postmodern. She is clearly more interested than Quo, for example, in heritage and tradition, which as the historian Hayden White has reminded us, are viewed suspiciously in postmodernism. The next two videos will deal with how Korn activates readers' or audiences' nostalgia in the play. She does this by recalling the occasions and objects that are associated with the bygone era which is the subject of the first video, and the places and companies that are no longer around or have survived in a different form or shape today, which is the subject of the second video. The following videos are designed not only to present and itemize the occasions, objects, places and companies that activate nostalgia in the play, but also to provide an explanation or glossary for them so that you'll be able to understand the play better.